Hello, hello, welcome to my classroom, Treasure Quest Learning Adventures. I love an adventure, don't you? I think that going different places and seeing different things are the greatest adventures we can have. Today we are going on a really fun adventure and I need you to be grammar detectives. Can you help me? Wonderful. My name is Mrs. Santor and I will be your teacher. We will have four classes and we'll go to different places. First, we will be going to the zoo today. And next week, we will go to the playground. After the playground, we'll be visiting the farm. And then the last week, we'll be diving under the sea to find adverbs. I'm so excited to take this adventure with you. And I hope you enjoy all the adventures that we are going to go on and all the great things that we will see. Are you ready to go on an adventure to the zoo? So am I, so let's get ready to go. But before we go, hmm, we need to really know what we're going to be learning about today. This is called Grammar Detectives. That means that today you're going to be needing to look for clues to find something really exciting. Grammar detectives. What is a detective? Hmm. A detective finds clues and solves a problem. We're going to find out what our problem is and how we can solve it. So let's get started. Are you ready? Let's go. I am so excited that you are part of this adventure with me today. Grammar detectives at the zoo, nouns at the zoo. Are you ready to be a grammar detective? Well, let's get started. Now, this is our task to do today. We are going to find the newest zoo babies. And we need to locate the different puzzle pieces on different slides to see if we can put this whole puzzle together. And we will then see what the newest zoo babies are. I'm so excited because I love babies. Do you like animal babies? Well, let's get started. This is a song about nouns. It's with Bob the Train. And if you go into the classroom, after this class is over, click into the classroom and there will be a link for this video. This is on YouTube, Noun Song with Bob the Train. And it's a great song to help you learn the different nouns and just what nouns are. So make sure you check it out. I think you'll really like it. What is a noun? In order for us to find the clues that we're looking for, we really need to know what nouns are so that as we go through each slide, because you are not able to collect your clue until you are able to find some nouns on the different slides that we do. So you really need to know what a noun is. Do you know what a noun is? Very good. If you said person, place, or thing, then you are correct. Very good. Let's look at some examples. A boy is a person, a girl, mom, dad, baby. That's like a family. Can you think of any other people? Hmm. What about 
a fireman or maybe a doctor. Hmm, I know one, a policeman. Can you think of any other people? I'm sure you came up with some really great people that you could use as nouns. Let's look at the next type of noun. This one is called place. House can be a place because if I told you, would you like to come to my house? That would be the place you can come to and play with me. So uh, someone's house can be a place. Ooh, who likes to go to the playground? I like going to the playground. That is a great place to go. State where you live is a noun. You may live in another country. That's a noun also. The name of the country, the name of the state, the name of the city or town, the name of the street you live on. Those are all nouns. School is a noun. The zoo is a noun. Can you think of another place? I'm sure you came up with some great places too. Next thing, thing. You can have something that's living. For example, animals or plants. Those are things. Dog, monkey, cat. I like animals. So I wanted to add lots of animals. But things can also be non-living things. For example, a car or a ball. Those are all things. Can you think of some things? Look around you. What are some things that you see? Hmm, I have a whole lot of things. I see an ice cream. Mmm, I like this thing. It tastes so good. Chocolate ice cream is the best. Hmm, what other thing do I have? Mm have this clapping hands that's a thing I have this a baseball bat what kind of things do you have you may pause this video and go and collect two or three things to show to your mom or your dad or maybe you have a sister or brother and tell them that those are nouns. All right, I hope that you had fun gathering some nouns and showing some nouns to your family. <clears throat> Let's go on. This is an activity that you may want to do now. You can pause and work on this little booklet. What are nouns? Nouns are, and you see there it says page one down in the corner of, of the first one where it says what are nouns, and then it has two people, and then page three places, and page four things. I want you to cut these out and then lay them on top of each other with one being on the top, and then two, then three, then four. And I want you to draw and write three nouns for each. So draw three people and write the name of them or the type of people that they are. Maybe if it's a fireman, you need to write fireman. Places, draw three places that you can think of. And then three things that you can think of and make sure you write the name under them so that it's really easy to know what you drew. So this is an activity you can do right now or you can do after the video is over. Something that's really easy to help you remember what a noun is in case you forget after this class and maybe it's been a few weeks and you think, what is a noun I forgot? I want you to think about how a noun can is part of the five senses. You can see nouns, you can taste nouns and smell nouns, you can hear nouns and you can touch nouns. 
anything you can see, hear, smell, taste, or touch, those are nouns. Now, just because you may not can do all five of them, maybe you can see something and that's all. Maybe you can't smell it or taste it or hear it or touch it. You just see it like a cloud in the sky. That's still a noun. Or maybe you can see, maybe you can see a cake. You can smell the cake. You can taste the cake and you can touch the cake. That's a noun. It has lots of senses that you can do to, uh, to the noun. Please remember, whenever you think of a noun, you can think about the five senses, see, taste, smell, touch, or hear. Here we are at the zoo. I am so excited. You will see down in the lower corner, uh, it's the lower right corner, a little magnifying glass. When you see the magnifying glass, in the corner, that means there's a clue on the page. Now remember, we're looking for a, a puzzle piece, a puzzle piece. That is part of our clue because when we get the puzzle piece, we then will put it in our puzzle to see what animal babies the zoo has. And then up in the upper left-hand corner, right over there, you will see something that has to do with the five senses. And on this page, you will see eyes. That means I want you to look at all the different nouns that you can see. Now, the real easy nouns would be those animals there. You have the panda, the gorilla, the elephant, the polar bear, and the giraffe. Those are easy nouns, and we will see lots of animal nouns. But I want you to look at the picture. What are some other nouns that you can see? Maybe we can hear them, maybe we can touch something, but what are some nouns that you see? I want you to pause, and when you are finished listing some nouns, I want you to come back, and then we'll talk about a few nouns that we see. So just hit the pause button, and then come back when you're finished. I hope that you were able to find lots of nouns when I want you looking for nouns. I really want you searching for nouns and find some that maybe we can't see. Hmm, for example, I see a stroller, a baby stroller. Did you see the baby stroller? Well, if you look down right below the sign and over a little bit to the left, there's a little girl raising her hand. Do you see that little girl? The lady in front of her is wearing a red shirt. Shirt is a noun. Blue jeans, that's a noun. And she is pushing a baby stroller. Baby stroller is a noun. I see a backpack. Did you see backpacks? I see several backpacks, actually. I see a camera bag. I see sandals. Hmm. I see signs. And of course, we see trees and bushes. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. We have not found the clue yet. Do you see the clue? You probably already see it. There it is. There's our clue. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Doesn't tell us much yet. So let's go on. Here you will see that I want you to come up with nouns that you can hear that you can taste, and that you can touch. First of all, I'm gonna give you just a couple seconds to look at some of these things. What's something you can hear? Do you hear the dad talking? Dad might be saying, be careful. Do you hear dad? Dad's a noun. Hmm. Maybe you hear the little boy. Maybe he's giggling. So there's a noun, the little boy. Do you hear the deer eating the apples? You could hear the crunch of the apples. And by the way, apples is a noun. Deer would be, the no would be nouns. Here's an apple. It's a noun. I can touch it. I can taste it. I can see it. What about touching or tasting? What? Who's tasting something? 
the deer is tasting the apple. So the apple would be a noun because of being tasted. It can be a noun. And then touching, do you think the little boys will touch the deer? Perhaps, maybe he's a little afraid, but he's touching the apple and it's probably a little wet and cold. All right, let's look at this list of word we talked about. Uh, the fence, we see the fence, and the grass, and the clothes. Do you see the glasses on the dad's face? Uh, the glasses. Dirt, I see dirt and trees. Very good. Whoa, that's a pretty big yawn. That maybe one time I was at the zoo. Do you see where I have the hearing? One time I was at the zoo and wow, the lions were roaring. It was so neat to hear them roar. That roar was so loud. Oh, now look right there. What do you see in his mouth? What noun? Yes, sharp teeth. And if you go back just a little ways, what's that? <laughs> what is it? It's a tongue. A tongue is a noun. It is a thing. His eyes are closed. You can see his whiskers. All those things are a noun. The, let's look and see what the words are here. Rock. We already said teeth and tongue and whiskers. The nose, the eyes, the mouth. A cave. It's where they like to sleep. In a cave. It's a noun. Oh my, I don't know what kind of monkey that is, but he looks really pretty funny, I have to say. So this monkey is tasting something. What is he tasting? He's tasting an apple, which again is a noun. Now I see something really exciting. I see the magnifying glass. So that means there is a clue here. Do you see it? Look really hard for that puzzle piece. I think you found it. So let's, you bring in the magnifying glass. Yep, sure enough, it's part of our puzzle. There it is. We have two pieces now. Hmm, have you been able to guess what baby it is? Here is a great giant noun at the zoo, an elephant. That is a noun. He is so big, the largest land animal on earth, land animal. And right now he is busy trying to cool himself and trying to keep those biting bugs off. What is it? What noun does he use to cool himself and to keep the biting bugs off? Mud, that's right, mud. And he's, what is he using to get the mud back on his back? His trunk, his trunk is a noun and those big old floppy ears. That's a noun also. Oh, and we got some more monkeys here. Now they're tasting something. What are they tasting? What kind of noun do you think they're tasting? I think they might be tasting some bugs, little tiny bugs. <laughs> That's what I think. So the that would be a noun. Wow. He's trying to get out. Do you see his feet that are nouns? And I see, let's just pause this for, well, that's okay. Uh, I see leaves that are nouns. What is something, touching is here. What's he touching that are nouns? There's several things that he's touching, or at least two things. He's touching the branch, yes. And then it, I believe he's touching right there with his feet. I think he's touching the glass. Now we have a clue on this one. Magnifying glass, it's lower right-hand corner. Do you see the puzzle piece? Look really hard. They're getting harder to find. As we go along, they get harder and harder. Okay, if you have not found it, you can pause it until you find it, or you can 
let it keep going and I will bring up the magnifying glass and I will show you where it's at. Here goes. Let's locate that clue. Oh, hmm. I think I'm getting an idea of what it is. Hmm, do you know what it is yet? Hello, Mr. Camel. <laughs> what are you complaining about? <laughs> I love camels. <laughs> I like their long eyelashes and they just, they're so cute to me. I think they're very cute. So we heard the, the camel. That would be something we could say is that we heard the camel but I have over here smell. Do you think they smell really well? I think if you got close to them, they might stink. I'm going to say that this noun stinks. This camel stinks. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Camel. <laughs> other nouns at the zoo we are going to play a game here now i see a magnifying glass before we play this game we're going to go ahead and locate the slide the uh, puzzle piece and then we will later put that puzzle piece in the puzzle after we're done with this page okay so do you see that anywhere do you see the puzzle piece? All right, good job. If you found it up in the left corner, that was a great, great sight there to be able to see that. And we will add that piece shortly to our uh, puzzle. But first I would like us to be able to uh, decide the different senses that we will be using for different nouns. For example, when you go to the gift store, here you can see up here with all the animals where the magnifying glass is, lots and lots of stuffed animals. So what sense might you use for that? You can use two senses. As long as we don't run out, you can use them. If you said seeing, that would be a great one, seeing because we see the stuffed animals and those are all nouns everything you see in there is a noun and we could touch them touch it's fun to touch them what about the food of the zoo the hot dog might be able to smell the popcorn what about the hot dog good taste the hot dog and taste the popcorn what about the ice cream those are nouns that you can taste. Ooh, I see one more noun. There's two nouns and it has to do with taste in one picture. That's right, baby giraffe is drinking her milk. So she is tasting the milk. All right, what, uh, oh, what about touch? Touch, what, what do you see here that would be touch? I think this is a great choice. The water park area where you can get cool, you're touching, you're feeling the waters. And you know what? You probably are hearing a lot of kids having a great time too. What else could we hear? Yes, we could hear the carousel. A lot of times, usually they have music playing with those carousels. And what else can we hear? What other noun? Good, the train, definitely you can hear the train as it's going by. 
Hmm, what else would you like to do for hearing? Maybe here, up here at the front where they're going in and they say, the person, the ticket person says, how many? And then they sell you the tickets, that would work. What about uh, smell? Do you see another one for smell? I think probably hot dog would work. Okay, and then some things we see. Well, we see the bathroom sign when we're needing to go to the restroom. We, that's, we use our eyes to look for that sign. So that would work. And we see, really, we see all these things. So you could really just put them for everything because that's part of, I mean, we're looking at the pictures. And so obviously we can see them all. You guys did really, really great with this. Now let's add that puzzle piece that we saw earlier to our puzzle. How many pieces do we have? It's like four pieces. How many do we need still? Okay, it looks like nine pieces total, but so that would be five pieces still. We are going to practice here. I want you to find this, the nouns in the sentence. Each slide will have a new sentence. This one says, the children ride a bus to the zoo. Hmm. I want you to look for the nouns in this sentence. The children ride a bus to the zoo. We have children. Children. I'm going to do this because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, children. What else is a person, place, or thing in this sentence? Children ride a bus. Is a bus a thing? Yes. And do we have a place in this sentence? The zoo. Very good. That works. Let's go to the next. A boy pets a starfish in the water. Oh, what do I see in the lower corner? A magnifying glass. That's right. Do you see? Let's go ahead and collect the puzzle piece. And then if we get it right, if we find the nouns in the sentence, we will add it to our puzzle. Do you see the puzzle piece? It's getting harder. Very good if you found it. This is where it is at. Wow, we're not going to put it on yet. Let's first look at this sentence. Okay, boy pets a starfish in the water. Let's check on this. We have a person, a boy. We have a thing, something he pets. What noun does he pet? a starfish, and then we have a place where the starfish is, water. Excellent. Now we need to collect that puzzle piece. So let's get back and let's grab that puzzle piece and put it in our spot. There it is. Oh, I can't wait. They look really fluffy. <laughs> The monkey eats a banana in the tree. Okay. What is the noun? There are mm, three nouns. All right, good, monkey, that would be a thing. And what else? There's two more things. Banana is something you can taste. And tree, very good, three nouns. I hope that you are understanding this. You can always go back and watch over it again just to be sure uh, that you get it. That is complete. You can watch as many times as you want. Oh, penguins waddle by the pond. I see two nouns in that sentence. What is the thing? Penguins, very good, and then What's the place that they're at? 
pond. Very good. <laughs> they look so cute. Oh, maybe they're going to go in the water. Let's see. Water's a noun. <gasps> look at that. Oh, they're very cute. Okay, we've got some swans, and here's a sentence. My teacher likes the swans in the pond. What noun likes the swans in the pond? The teacher is a noun that likes the swans in the pond. So teacher is a noun, and what else is the noun? Who's in the pond? Swans, good. And then we have pond, which is a noun. And then it is so obvious they move, so it's easy then to locate that puzzle piece. There it is. And I know I'm a little bit in your way. There you go. You can see that little precious face. <laughs> okay, there it is. We've got three more puzzle pieces to go. The children like feeding the goats at the barn. Okay, what's the first noun we come to? Who is there feeding the goats? Children, so that's one noun. And then what was getting fed? Goats, and you can touch the goats, see the goats, hear the goats. That's definitely a noun. And then what place are they at? They're at the barn. We saw a butterfly land on a flower. Very pretty. Okay, do you see uh, the nouns? We, we would be a noun because we are people. So we would be a noun. And then what did we see? What noun? butterfly and where was the butterfly on a flower so flower would be the noun telling where it was all right i see a magnifying glass do you see the puzzle piece anywhere it may be a little hard or maybe you just have eyes that are really really good there it is good job <laughs> And, oh, look at them. They're so cute. I can't wait to see the whole thing. We are almost done with these sentences. I want you, this one all by yourself, I want you to pick out those nouns. And when you are finished, I'm going to circle them. And you tell, and then you see if you got them right. We eat a picnic lunch at the playground. We eat a picnic lunch at the playground. You may want to pause it because I'm going to start right away with the answers. Pause it to try to find the nouns in the sentence. And then, you know, you can see nouns there. I see a teepee noun and a hammock. That's pretty cool. All right. Hopefully you were able to get some of those nouns. We is, a, it's a pronoun. We. Lunch is a noun and playground is a noun so if you got we lunch and playground you got it right the shop has fun toys and clothes and i see a magnifying glass so get ready i want you to find the three nouns that are in the sentence the shop has fun toys and clothes. So think about things that you can touch and see. If you had shop, that's definitely a noun. And the things that are in the shop are going to be noun. And what are those things? Toys and clothes. Very good. And there is our puzzle piece. And we're down to the last puzzle piece. The mother. Say the mother monkey dragged the baby over to the dad. You can add words if you want to. Just make sure you have the noun, the nouns in there and the action. The baby monkey. Let's look at it again. <laughs> 
the baby monkey climbed on the rocks. The mama grabbed the monkey's tail. <laughs> so you have the mama, mama being a noun, and the tail. The tail is a noun. Look at those teeth. He is so big. What could you say? The noun and then verb is an action word. The noun. So we could say the zookeeper. And what did the zookeeper, what is it the zookeeper doing? Feeds the hippo. So you have zookeeper and hippo. Those are the two nouns. Zookeeper's a person, hippo's the thing, and then you've got the nouns going into his mouth and the nouns in his mouth and just everything you see. Let's watch a little bit more. <laughs> There's a noun that fell out of his mouth. Okay. I see a magnifying glass. Do you see the puzzle piece anywhere? Let's see the puzzle in the, the puzzle piece in the puzzle. There it is. It's little three little panda cubs. One, two, three. Those are little nouns. Good. Oh, they're so tiny. Little eyes are open. Oh, that one's even tinier there. Oh, look. Now they are starting to wake up. <laughs> oh, I would love to hold one of those little babies. So cute. <laughs> we have a song to end class with today. It goes to the tune of Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. But it goes, I'm thinking of a noun. So it's a game that we're going to play. And you could do this at home with your family and come up with different nouns. All right, listen, I want you to guess what the name of the noun is. I'm thinking of a noun, a person, place, or thing. It's big and red and speeds through town. Can you guess my noun? What do you think my noun is? It's big and red and speeds through town. A fire truck. Good job. Ready? Listen. I'm thinking of a noun. A person, place, or thing. There's lots of sand and shells on the ground. Can you guess my noun? Hmm. What noun is it? The beach. Very good. Excellent. Is this a person, place, or thing? It's a place. Very good. Next. I'm thinking of a noun. A person, place, or thing. It's man's best friend and runs all around. Can you guess my noun? Dog, that is it. <laughs> oh, look. Such a cute dog. I think there's one more. This is it. I'm thinking, oh, and by the way, what was a dog? Was it a person, a place, or a thing? That's right, it's a noun that's a thing. I'm thinking of a noun, a person, place, or thing. They bake cookies and cakes for people in town. Can you guess my noun? A baker, very good. It says happy birthday. I will be putting this link into the classroom also. This is called Let's Go on a Tour of the Zoo. And this is a great video to see different things at the zoo that they get to actually, uh, they get to scrub the rhinoceros skin with the brush. They get to give it a little back scratch and 
Uh, they feed some giraffes, some really fun things. And as you can see, the bicycle is a down too. Now that puzzle piece down there is not even supposed to be there. I don't even know why it's there. We've already found all of the puzzle pieces. This is one more assignment that you can do. You can go in your backyard or maybe you can go to the park. And I want you to find, I want you to be a noun detective and find things that you can taste, things that you can smell, see, touch, and hear. And I want you to draw pictures of the things you see and then write the word. So maybe it's not necessarily something you can taste, although I have little blueberries. I have blueberries in the summertime in my yard, uh, blueberry bushes. So I, would, I could draw blueberries. I taste them and I love them. And the dogs like to eat them off the trees and the deer. Okay, blueberries. What about these things? Now, I don't taste these things, but sorry, I'm trying to draw with a, a mouse, so it's not the easiest thing. Can you tell what this is? It's an acorn, an acorn, and that tastes good to the squirrels. Those are some things that I know are in my yard. So think about some things in your yard or at the park. And I want you to try to find three things of each. So you have the little booklet about what a noun is, and now you're going to be a noun detective, and you're going to search for those things. We also have a very, very simple crossword puzzle, just some things that you can see at the zoo, and you will fit them in. For example, across one, one across I will do this first one. It says, this is one is going across and it's the word zookeeper. So you just fill it in, zookeeper. These are all nouns. Zookeeper is a noun. And that is how you do that worksheet. So you have three activities. You have a couple videos. There's another song video that I will be showing you or putting the link in for you called the noun song. It's another fun song about what nouns are. That does it for today's lesson at the zoo. I hope that you had as much fun seeing all of those animal nouns as I did and the nouns of things that they had in their hands or some things that they were doing. I love seeing the animals and I love looking for nouns. So I hope that you find some really neat nouns. And if you see a really interesting noun that you wanna share with the rest of the class, you could take a picture of it and put it into the classroom and let us see what nouns you guys are spying around. Maybe it's not even at your house, maybe it's somewhere else and you just wanted, to, you think it's a cool noun and you wanna show us. I would love to see any nouns that you would like to put into the classroom. I will see you next class period when we go to the playground to look for verbs. See you soon. Bye-bye.